So there it is, our DCTF All Access, the 4A Division I State Championship between Austin LBJ and Stephenville. And just, man, does it feel good to be able to see that deploy back. This is a thing that we've been working on for about three months now. Um, joining me here is Ishmael Johnson and Mallory Hartley. Y'all know them well. I uh, want to go ahead and give a quick shout out to everyone that was in the credits specifically from our Texan Live branch of Dre Matula, Trevor Bullard, and Gavin Moritz. They did so much to help this come to life. They were there with us in the AT&T Stadium and have helped through every single part of this. And it's something that we are very, very proud of from the little magazine that could, I guess you could say. But I brought Ish and Mallory on. Um, obviously, I shot the Stephenville side of everything. Mallory shot every piece of Austin LBJ footage. And then Ish here, we'll start off with him because this whole DCTF all access idea was actually came from his, uh, his a big old noggin up there. <laughs> so kind of, I just want you to tell people kind of where you had this idea mm -hmm. and you were so integral in watching this all come to life. Yeah. So I guess it started a little bit, probably in about October, September-ish, um, when I I forgot what I was watching exactly, but I might have just, I'm, I'm a huge documentarian. I'm a huge fan of behind the scenes stuff, uh, hard knocks, all that type of stuff. Um, Sunderland Till I Die on Netflix. I love behind the scenes stuff. And I basically came to you and I was like, do we have the capacity to do something like this? Like I originally pitched, there were many ideas I threw out and I was like, okay, well, we can do it maybe for this game or this game. And eventually like we got about to November and it became clear, it was like, let's try it for the state championships. Mm -hmm. And we, we know we would have, you know, depending on which teams made it there, we didn't know which teams, you know, this is before any team was finalized or things like that. We knew we would have probably a decent relationship with some of the coaches going in, and we'd say, would we be cool pitching this to them? And when it became clear that it was LBJ and Stephenville, it was a perfect opportunity. <laughs> we were like, okay, well, Fenner and Doty, we, like, we have great relationship with those guys. And so let's try to do this. And I asked, basically my, my whole thing to you was like, do you have the capacity? <laughs> he said, here's and, my idea, right. can you do it? <laughs> right, right, it basically, basically was like, I wanted what you saw, um, I wanted a complete two sides of the game breakdown. Like, what's it like to lose? What's it like to prepare, to win, to celebrate, to be frustrated? Like, I wanted the full experience and I came to her and I said, do you guys basically have the capacity <laughs> to do this? And Luckily, you know, our team is big enough to where, and our team is, is responsible enough to where they could have, they take, they basically took, the, we, you know, everybody knows we're there for state the whole mm -hmm. week. They were able to take off from our usual duties to go do this from the crack of dawn. Right. <laughs> uh, if, if anybody goes back and looks at Twitter, you tweeted literally that, that one tweet. Man, it was seven, in the morning. 7 o'clock in the morning. We were up there on day three getting yeah. ready to do this. And yeah. so it was, it was, you, luckily we were uh, kind of a well-rounded team now to where you guys could have, you guys were able to leave your normal duties to go do this with, uh, with um, uh, Trevor and Gavin. Mm -hmm. And... I was, you know, I was up there in our in our in our area, and I was looking to make sure. I, I was like <laughs> the whole game. I was like, where are they? Like I'm like I'm like watching to make sure that they had everything. Like they were good. Luckily, they were fine. But like me being also nervous about how things were gonna go, right. I was like lo looking to see like, oh man, they're right in the huddle. I was like, okay, they're way over there. Uh, Ask Step. I had his binoculars literally <laughs> during the game, like just seeing like where everybody was. See like, ooh, that's gonna be a good shot or things like that. So. Um, but no, uh, that was the overall uh, vision of it, and um, I got to commend you guys. It turned out fantastic. Uh, again, thank you to Stephenville and LBJ for letting us have that access because, you know, we got to see how inspirational of a figure Jamal Fenner is, right? Mm -hmm. Like how, you know, they were, they had so, uh, the game did not go their way at all, but like we saw kind of how he looked at that scenario and how he looked at that situation. Mm -hmm. We saw somebody like D Doty, who was an incredibly energetic figure, like <laughs> throughout the whole game. Um, and yeah, and then Pickle, I mean, you guys don't know how much editing <laughs> and uh, ads. basically, let's put it this way. We got done with State and it ba she's basically been working on that since. Yeah. 
Yeah, to throw out some, some stats real fast before we get to Mallory's take on this, we had over 30 hours of footage, whether that be video, whether that be audio. I want to give a huge shout out to uh, 931 down in Stephenville. Mm -hmm. My guy Boots sending us their audio file so we can use it. 105.3 uh, The Bat down in Austin giving us their home radio broadcast. And then, of course, to our great friends at Bally Sports Southwest for providing us with that and Ted Emmerich on the call and a couple of those clips. And the reason we did all that was because we wanted to be able for people to get just how big of a stage this is. This is a thing that's on national TV. This is a thing that you hear the passion from both sides of the radio broadcast. And we wanted y'all to see that because we get to live that at the state championships. But we wanted to bring that to the table and let everybody see it. And I've got to commend Mallory too because I feel like you and I have a very similar take on this of we both went to school for broadcasting. And that might seem like a pretty normal right. thing, but that's very live s. That's very short editing thing. And I don't think I ever pictured you or I being able to dip our toe and really not even dip our toe, man. We jumped head first into this to where we were able to create a documentary, a feature film. So what was that like from your perspective? Because obviously we had very different perspectives. Right. I was on the winning side. You were on LBJ's right. side. How was that for you to get to just dive in and do something like that? Man, I got to tell you, when y'all first came to me with this idea, I kind of thought in my head like, man, I don't know if I can do this. <laughs> the first time that I had really even picked up a camera working for this job was like quick little highlights when we went to seven on seven and stuff TikTok. like that. TikTok, yes, <laughs> it was TikTok. good promotion, good promotion. Um, but I had never really learned how to actually work a camera in that way. And, and I didn't even know what shots I was gonna get, honestly. I feel like we kind of just went in there pretty cold, mm -hmm. you know, and you didn't know what was gonna happen during the game. And so, yeah, like you said, we woke up at, probably 6, 5.30 that morning. We, <laughs> on day three. <laughs> on day three, we uh, we got there early, made sure to get when the buses came, and yeah, then we kind of parted ways. You went to the Stephenville sideline, I went to the Austin LBJ sideline, and you know, even though the game didn't go Austin LBJ's way, it was still really cool to get that perspective of the game, you know, because you always, when you see stuff like that, you see the winning sideline. Mm -hmm. You see how the coaches react, how the kids react when they win a big game like that, but you don't always get to see how the losing side reacts, you know, and, and Jamal Finner, got to give it to him, he is just a great motivational speaker guy. Those You can tell his kids respect him so much, and he's a great speaker, and I love being on that sideline. It was really cool. It was very, it was very fun. And from an editing perspective, I, uh, I was the one that had compiled all that footage. Mm -hmm. Ish and Mallory, we actually we split it into five different pieces. We did pregame, first half, half times etc and we would stop at the end of each one and we would go back and we would review it mm -hmm. and they would give me things to work on and so we would go and so it was a really team effort when it came to this editing side of it but we had a uh, we spent about two weeks making a shot sheet for anyone who doesn't know what that is uh, we went in an excel file and I, we went through every individual clip you put the number you put the duration you you put a description so we spent about two weeks doing that after that then throughout the rest of the to, you know, two months that we were using to edit this, it was nothing but going through 30 hours of footage, figuring out the best way to do this, to tweak mm -hmm. it, yep. to go through all of that. So to take something like this as a team and be able to watch this come to life was something that has been so special. Like they said, we cannot think Coach Doty, Coach Finner, Stephenville, LBJ, the fans, mm -hmm. you know, the players, they didn't ever waver. They literally let us come in right there and they get loved it. whatever yeah. we wanted. And to be able to see that and create that for y'all was something that we are so proud of and very, very special. So we'll be uploading this to our YouTube page after this. Please share it. Please watch it. And we're hoping, too, that anyone who's just a regular Texas high school football fan will enjoy this clip and that we, we can continue to bring this to you year in and year out. So to every I want to give out a quick shout out too to Chase Snyder because mm -hmm. like you were talking about earlier where we were able to step off our normal post and go and do this he stepped up in a big role on our normal task so yeah, yeah. Hey, I wanted to give a shout out to to our intern Zachary Fox um, mm -hmm. and he he <laughs> some of the jobs that the job that he was doing was he literally like pinpointed the score when certain calls were made he mm -hmm. relaying that to pickle when she had so much else to do something as simple as hey here's this call or here's this here's this moment here's the score and the time here you were able to see the score ticker in the bottom like that 
that provides that aspect and that context. And mm -hmm. I was like, that's a huge job because he goes through and scrubs the audio and right. like gets every like Tedious. he's listening to two different audio calls of the same game. Like that's not easy. Um, so yeah, and other thing is we want to do more of this kind of stuff, yeah. right? This is this is this is our first, but not our last foray into this kind of thing. It might be you know hopefully we can do this at state next year, but we do have seven on seven uh, state championships. We do have I mean potentially a regular season game. We don't know. Obviously it won't be you know obviously it's this is a big task and it's a big uh, undertaking as, especially as far as editing is concerned but this isn't the the last thing the the only time we're going to do this we want to do something more hopefully we'll be able to expand our resources more um, as far as that's concerned but um, if you like this you know definitely let us know if you want to see more stuff like this uh, because we hope this is the the first in many uh, of its kind. Absolutely. And then finally, before we let you go here, we want to give a, a the biggest thanks to Greg Tepper, our president, Adam Hockfelder, uh, the McLean Group, and Ms. Tracy Morris for, for allowing us to do this and taking three goofballs like us with a big idea and letting us, giving us the resources to be able to do this. So we hope that everyone thoroughly enjoyed this. Thank you so much again to Stephenville and Austin LBJ, but we'll be uploading it to our YouTube and we hope that you will share it and follow along with us.